welcome, station crew. Enjoy your stay. I start my shift in the mining dock. Seeing more miners than supply lockers, I call the shuttle to the mining station, figuring I'll stock up down there. A couple others and I make our way to the extra lockers. Someone's pumped, and naked. We get in and start loading up. One miner inquires to the nudist miner as to why he's naked. I'm glad someone asked. The nudist miner says it's okay he's naked because he has a stuffed fish to protect him. I realize I've never considered the mental state required to take this kind of a job. As I start to head out, I hear what sounds like a robot dying. Searching the area, I find nothing. As I'm working my way north, I see someone set up a shelter with a dead body inside. As I'm inspecting to make sure it's not a recent crew member, a Goliath surprise attacks me from behind the shelter. It gets a stun on me and I drop my kinetic actuator. It gets a few slashes in before I crawl back to the main cavern. My nudist friend jumps in, taking shots at the beast and pushing me to safety. He's a damn hero. I explain the Goliath snuck up on me. Other miners gather while he fells the demon. I manage to pop my survival pen to stave off some of the damage. I recover my kinetic actuator and realize I'm coughing up blood. Coughing up blood is sort of a miner's coffee, but it's a bit early for that. So I make getting the medbay a priority, right after I get this diamond and grab my ore box. Getting to the shuttle, I have a new symptom, throwing up. It's probably blood too, so I should definitely get to medbay. I make a quick stop to turn in my ore before starting the miner's walk of shame. Luckily, a paramedic helps drag me to surgery. After what I think is a lung replacement, I'm up and moving in no time. Great medbay we have here. On my way back, I grab a pen and name my gun Harlot. If some monstrosity is gonna try and rip my lungs out, I want Harlot with me. I stop off to spend some of my points. Not having turned in much ore, all I can afford is an advanced scanner. I get back to it. As I do, the AI makes the announcement that there's a cult. I find an elaborate, prideful structure. Nothing's here, but it looks nice. I find a winter biome. Nothing's here either, except for a lot of space milk. I guess it doesn't go bad. Returning to the station and turning in my ore nets me 4,000 points. I get the cooldown, damage, and range mods for Harlot. I don't have quite enough left over for jump boots. Maybe next time. I head to science to see about my satchel of holding. There's a long line, I wait. The AI announces the cult is after the nanotracing representative's head, and that the chief engineer is confirmed cult. The captain puts out an alert that the communications core has been sabotaged. I get the satchel and get back to mining. The AI suspects the chief engineer built another telecoms unit to interfere with communications. Other than the announcements, the crew can't broadcast chat. Either that or the cult got everyone and went full Jonestown Massacre. The captain confirms the chief engineer has built a hidden telecom in order to interfere with the existing one. The AI chimes in, noting the chief engineer and their tactic are scummy. I get a fair bit of mining done before the ash storm comes. Popping a shelter down, I get in and chow down on some lukewarm donk pockets. After a bit more mining, I return to the station. Being back in communications range, I start picking up the general radio chatter. Good sign. Turning in my ore, I get an additional 5,700 points, combining with my previous for nearly 7,000. I stop off and get my jump boots that I've been eyeing in the vending machine. I also get a jetpack, Lazarus injector, and Mindbot AI upgrade for the science department. I don't get too far before an ash storm comes, so I take refuge in the mining base when I notice a fellow miner in the lava pit. I'm about to report it in before I remember someone disabled the comms relay. Not that they'd send anyone down anyway. I wait for the storm to clear before going out and dragging the body up to the station. Upon reaching the station dock, I see someone hacking the door. I get into the corridor before reporting them to security. I continue to drag the still burning dead miner's body behind me when I reach medbay. I turn in my pithly amount of ore and head back down. After a bit of mining, I head back up. Some assistant looks to be hitching a ride with me. They sit there, mute, 
their eyes staring forward in a lifeless glare. I don't question how they got down here, or what they were doing as I'm sure it was nefarious, but I don't take my finger off Harlot's trigger either. I let them out, if anything it gets them the hell away from me. Turning in my ore, I get 3,000 more points. Back at the mining station, I assess the damage. Someone tore out the wall so they could get into dormitories, barricaded the old ore redemption for some reason. Looks like this relay is connected up to two others. The AI warns the chief engineer has muted them, casting a certain suspicion. Apparently, they found the communication jammer hidden in security's bathroom. Nothing good ever comes out in a bathroom. Making use of the working comms, I report the issue at the mining base. I get back to the dock when I hear loads of construction coming from the airlock. Outside I see a civilian floating in space, who happens to be reporting someone else as attempting to space loop an officer to death. It's the snoo snoo of space. The captain announces the terror spiders around the station. I decide I don't want to be around when they burst out of a vent. For some reason I feel safer down on Lava Land, where there's just mindless beasts and scorching ash storms. I pick up a nearby welder helmet and torch, and break down the barrier to the old ore redemption. While I'm out mining, the AI reports there's white terror spiders and cultists back on the station. I happen upon some remains. There's a head laying on the ground. I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell if the brain is still in it, but I pack it in my bag anyway. I head back. On the way, a fellow miner asks me if I have a jetpack. I tell him I don't. I drop the head off in medbay. When I get back to the dock, the guy's still asking about a jetpack, so I buy one and give it to him. After another mining run, I turn in my ore, 4,200 points, giving me a total of 6,107. One of these days, I'll have enough to retire. For now, I go to the bar, which is in a sorry, disgusting state. I lose any interest in ordering anything, opting instead to retreat to dorms for some R&R. &R. I found a Molotov cocktail on the table and proceed to guzzle. I'm just getting tipsy when an explosion tears out of the bathroom. Luckily, I wasn't closer to the blast, but the area is venting into space and I'm injured. They drag me to med bay, but I'm deaf from the explosion. They put me into a meta bed, and after a moment, my hearing returns. I realize I'm probably fine enough, so I decide to be elsewhere. I stagger back to the cargo office, but it's hard to make it to the door, what would being drunk. Standard fare for the department. I get down to the surface and locate the head of another miner. I'm not sure if there's a brain in this one either, but I load it into my bag and press on. While I'm making my way back, I find a shelter with a picture laying out. Taking a look, I see it's of the nude miner laying on the bed, while another miner stands in the center of the shelter. I opt not to touch anything else, but I keep the picture. Maybe it's the Molotov thinking, but I sense a certain timeless sadness in the photo and feel compelled to give it back to them, if they're still alive. I chuck the head in med bay. On my way back, I hear sounds of a scuffle in the maintenance tunnels. Inside, I see the paramedic who notes that the door is welded shut. I give him the welder I picked up on the mining station and let him go to work. He opens the door just as security arrives. Inside the little room, there's a dude standing next to a body that's minus a head. Definitely an uphill battle for a defense attorney. Security rushes in and nabs him. Back at cargo, I recognize the guy in the picture is now clothed with what I suspect are goliathides. There were a few missing miners, so I hope it's goliathides anyway. I give him the picture I found. He mentions it was from when he was a robot. I don't know how to process that, but I tell him I found it next to a body. He asks the name. I'm not sure, but I tell him I'm almost certain I recovered whoever it was. Maybe they'll meet again. The shuttle's docked, so I head to evac. Reaching the shuttle, it looks like someone took no time at all constructing a giant pile of garbage in the center for the sole purpose of noisily crushing trash with their feet the entire trip back. The shuttle lands and I feel a sense of relief. The end of a long, interesting shift. Oh,